I don't know him, but hopefully through the years that'll change. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, I have an idea of the type of man that he is because I really know how picky Amber is. Or I should say particular, not picky. David! David, I'm talking to you. I love you. I'm so happy that you married him. <laughs> He's leaving, so I'll just continue. You guys are recording, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, where did I leave off? Oh, the type of man he is because she's a particular woman. Yeah. Um, she's always wanted someone who understood what Nathaniel Dwight meant to her. Check. He has to be a family man. Check. Goal oriented. Check. Compassionate, patient, respectful. Check. Someone who will always challenge her to grow. Check. Someone who will love her at her best and her worst. Double check. The list continues, but in my eyes, she's definitely found that person, David. So, thank you. Thank you, David. For already taking care of her financially, emotionally, and spiritually. For loving every part of her, and for being able to be to make such a commitment as the one that he's making right now during these hard times. <clears throat> Thank you from my whole heart, not just a piece of it, my whole heart. I pray that God continues providing all that is meant for you. May you both continue to light each other's paths, never go to sleep angry, always remember to respect one another, and always remember that communication is key. I've been talking about for a lot of years. <laughs> um, no matter how much we want our partners to be, they are not mind readers, so communication is a must. David, welcome to the family. Amber, you look absolutely gorgeous. To Mr. and Mrs. Abbott, 